Welcome to Plant Based Kidneys Kitchen, everyone. Today we are making a cashew coffee creamer. This is my favorite coffee creamer. I use it every day. My husband uses it. We've been using it for a long time. It's delicious, it's creamy, um, and there's a lot of things you can do to add more or less to it depending on your preferences. I will put the link for the original recipe in the show notes of this, and then as well as kind of the ratio of cashews to water that I have found that I like. So first of all, you need is two cups of water and about a cup and a half of raw cashews. So you don't want salted, you don't want roasted, you want raw cashews. And I've already soaked these, um, but you wanna soak them in water. You could do it overnight. I usually just soak them in hot water for a couple of hours. And if you are a very last minute person, then you can always boil them um, you know, for five to 10 minutes before using it. But ultimately it's two cups water, one and a half cups of raw cashews that you have soaked. And then we're going to add some vanilla extract. So you could do anywhere from half a teaspoon to one teaspoon. I usually do half a teaspoon. Add that in there. And then the recipe calls for using whatever sweetener of choice you like, whether it's maple syrup or honey or sugar. Um, I like to limit added sugar, and it's generally recommended for people with kidney disease, with diabetes, um, and just in general for people to limit added sugar. So I use dates. Um, usually, don't come at me, dates, yes, they are higher in potassium, but this recipe makes many, many portions, so the potassium is, is very low. So make sure with your dates, that you either buy pitted dates or you take the pit out of them, but you're gonna add two dates to the recipe and that's it. Those are literally the only ingredients and you wanna make sure you have a high speed blender, but basically you're going to blend this for a couple of minutes to make sure that everything is very blended very well and gets very creamy. So we're gonna blend this on high for one to three minutes really. Okay, so we blended that all up. And that's it. And I'm going to measure this so you could see. I'll pour this in a measuring cup. And then I'll give you the nutrition information as well. But it makes a pretty good amount of creamer. And the other thing to note, so again, if you want it to be thicker, then use a one-to-one -one ratio. So one and a half cups of the cashews with one and a half cups of water. Um, again, I did one and a half cups of cashews to two cups of water, and it is a little bit liquidy. It thickens up once you have it in the fridge. So tomorrow when I have coffee and I add some of this, it'll be a little thicker. What I found if I do a one-to-one -one ratio, it's by like day five of it in the fridge and using it, it gets pretty thick and then it's too thick for me. So. This here has made about three cups of liquid, and I'm going to show you guys. So one portion um, usually is about two tablespoons. So I'll measure that out so you can just see how that looks. But it pours nice and thick. Okay. And so that's what that looks like right there. And then you would have your coffee on top. So what is the nutrition information per serving for this? Okay, so one serving, as I said, is about two tablespoons. Of course, if you use more or less, then you would need to um, calculate that and adjust that. But per two tablespoon portion, and again, this is making a large amount of creamer, so it makes about 24 servings total, but per serving, it's about 51 calories, one and a half grams of protein. The sodium is super, super low, only two milligrams of sodium, 68 milligrams of potassium, 49 milligrams of phosphorus, four grams of carbs, and a half a gram of fiber. So overall, it is pretty low in potassium, low in phosphorus. It's not high protein. Um, and again, if you do use a half a portion, then it's going to be very low in calories. And if you are using, you know, more than that, then it'll be a lot higher. Um, but it's really delicious. It's very creamy. And it's a lot better than pretty much all of the plant-based and um, animal product creamers that you find in the stores. A lot of those have phosphorus additives in them. And so this doesn't have that. It's all um, whole food ingredients. And again, you can keep in your fridge about one to two weeks, depending on how many people are going to be using this, then obviously you would make 
you know, less or more because you don't want to have it in your fridge for a month. It's better to make it, you know, every week or week and a half, make it fresh, store it in the fridge, and then enjoy it in your coffee.